An appeals court ruled just before the weekend that Lauren's case could move forward to a jury trial. The company that owns the facility where Lauren lived had tried to have a mediator determine an outcome. The higher court affirmed that would be improper. It's a win for the family of a woman who suffered a cerebral hemorrhage at three weeks old and has been struggling ever since to navigate the complex rules of Ohio's Department of Developmental Disabilities. Lauren's father has long complained the system provides facilities far more money per patient than it provides families, so he could not afford to keep her at home. He tried anyway last February to care for her himself, but months later had to put her back into a group home because her family could not sustain the 24-7 care needed. When it comes to the family member themselves providing the care, if they live with the individual, there are limitations on the amount of reimbursement and it is less than you would pay an external provider. State lawmakers just passed a bill that will increase by about 50 percent the reimbursements for caregivers up to an average of $18 an hour from 12. It goes into effect in July, which may help a system struggling to meet the needs of our community's most needy. David Winter, Local 12 News. Sure, you could stop watching now, but let's be honest, you want to see more. So click some of those links, or better yet, go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you'll catch more content from Local 12.